All right, today I have Loctite Thread Locker, and I'm going to be showing you how to use this Loctite Thread Locker to secure this screw in sort of inside of this knob that I have for my drawer right here. Now, I'm going to go through this. Now, it's important that you read the instructions yourself so you know exactly how the manufacturer intends on this product being used. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting a thread lock or thread locker onto this screw right here. Uh, I've been having an issue whereas this slips out. It slips because of daily usage of opening and closing the drawer and just over time this actually unscrews which makes this wobbly and comes out comes apart so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and I'm going to apply this but when I apply this Loctite thread locker this is red 271 this is the permanent which means this cannot be peeled off once it's applied which I don't want to be peeled off that does not mean that I will not be able to unscrew this it just means that the thread locker will be permanently on this screw as opposed to the blue there's removable thread locker that can be peeled off if you so desired but I'm not going to go that route all right so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go ahead and put this thread locker on and the reason why I'm doing it like this is because once I have it screwed on I want it to stay all right so uh, with that being said I have this right here if you could look at this knob for this drawer it actually has a spike now what is this this is intended for is when I screw this in and then tighten it with a screwdriver a screwdriver right here this spike will dig inside of the wood right there preventing it from turning and loosening up okay so this will stay into place like that. However, even though this is screwed and locked into place, this can still become unscrewed. And I'm going to prevent that from being uh, unscrewed so easily by applying the thread locker. So let me go ahead and open up the thread locker by Loctite. It's heavy duty. And it's made for large fasteners, it says right here. but I'm not, I'm using a, a, a small a fastener or screw right here to be applying it. Now it's important that you read the instructions and abide by the instructions and not this video when you're using this product because the manufacturer wants you to do it a specific way. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and shake it kind of like a Polaroid picture. As it says, it says, make sure parts are clean. Now the parts aren't clean. They're not sanitized, so I'm not going to put um, hand sanitizer or sanitizer on it. It doesn't need to be that clean, but it is clean like it recommends. And then it says, shake well, like a Polaroid picture. It doesn't say Polaroid picture, but I'm going to say it. Now, it says, apply it to this and let it sit, sit, okay, for 10 minutes, okay? But for it to be cured, it will take a full 24 hours. Now, I'm doing this differently from how the manufacturer says to do it. I'm not going to put this on here and then let it sit. I'm actually going to put some on here and then screw it on and let it cure that way. All right? Uh, because it's just my way of doing it, my opinion, not how the manufacturer recommends. All right? It's designed for metal parts, it says. It is not to be used on plastic parts. If two metals are used... A primer is required okay so it's saying if two metals are being used you should use a primer I'm not going to be using a primer but if you're using this you should abide by the instructions okay it says to disassemble apply localized heat or nut to nut or stud for five minutes at 450 degrees I'm not going to be removing this product from off of the screw, so there's no need to do it then. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shake it a little bit more, kind of like a Polaroid picture. And I'm going to go ahead and put this screw in. 
right? It's in there. And what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to do something different from how the manufacturer does it. I'm going to actually put just a drop on here. Actually, before you get started, it's important to note that you're going to have to cut this part off because it's not ready to be ejected out of here because it is closed off. So I'm going to cut this off with some scissors. Some scissors right here. I'm going to cut this off. And then uh, right here, I'm going to cut this off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. Just the tip just enough for the hole to be exposed and I'm going to put something underneath here so I don't spill this onto my desk and then I'm getting closer so you can see this a little bit I'm gonna take this I'm gonna put a little bit of thread lock on here just a drop and you know what I'm gonna put about a drop or two inside of the barrel okay drop or two inside of the barrel and then while that's going on, I'm going to go ahead and close this like that. And then I'm actually going to take this, screw it a little bit, not all the way because there's a stud right there. And I'm going to push it in, try to get the stud to the back, make sure that it's level. And I'm going to take, come out a little bit my screwdriver and I'm gonna to go to the back and I'm gonna use the screwdriver and I'm screwing it in and I'm gonna make it tight enough for the nut or the spike to dig into the wood All right, gonna keep on. Take the screwdriver. And it gets tight. The nut or the spike is dug in. And that is how you use thread lock. It won't come unscrewed again to fix a drawer. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks a lot for watching.